begin tonight with another weekend of protests. Protests against police brutality persisting nationwide with a handful of demonstrations taking place right here in Providence today. Good evening, I'm Erica Ritchie. Among the protesters, a woman arrested at a, at a demonstration just a few days ago. Tonight, she spoke with Eyewitness News reporter Brittany Schaefer. Brittany joins us now live in Providence with her story and with a sense of where the protests stand right now. Hi, Brittany. Hi, Erica. Well, Nigeli Rodriguez tells me she is doing okay now, but Thursday night was a scary one for her. Meanwhile, here at the State House, just minutes ago, the rally really turned into a live concert where dozens were in attendance. <laughs> Nigeli Rodriguez recounts the moments she says a Providence police officer tackled her to the ground. I didn't even realize that it was happening until I went down. Like, I just felt a yank on my arm, and I looked, and I just saw an officer lunge toward me. Like, he literally lunged forward, and they made space, because there was a wall of the officers. They, they made space for him to pull me through, and then they closed the wall. Like, Two people, including Rodriguez, were arrested Thursday night during dueling demonstrations outside the Providence Public Safety Complex. Police allege the 18-year-old hit a Providence police sergeant with a bullhorn. Rodriguez was charged with disorderly conduct, resisting arrest, and simple assault, but she denies the allegations. So I was yanked tackled, body slammed, my face was smashed into the pavement um, just because I was protesting. I just, they were, I think they were mad because they didn't like what we were saying. So. Rodriguez and dozens of others attending a rally outside of the state house Saturday afternoon calling for solidarity and protesting police brutality. Protesters say change needs to continue in Rhode Island. I think like a candle, we got to keep the flame going. Right? I think we have to continue moving the message forward because just because it's getting better doesn't mean that we're there yet. The fight is not over. It's not over. It's never going to be over no matter what happens. I knew that there would have been consequences to me protesting. I knew that there was something would have eventually happened. Like I was ready for it, so I'm still going to continue to fight. And Rodriguez tells me there is a protest planned for tonight outside of the Providence Police Department condemning her arrest. It is scheduled to start at 8 o'clock tonight. Make sure you stay with Eyewitness News both on air and online for the very latest. For now, live in Providence, I'm Brittany Schaefer, Eyewitness News.